welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode number 300. So not including the first episode, which was the history and introduction to the podcast, I've done 299 recipients, so the good news is only 3,221 more stories to go, and I'll be done. Something positive to look forward to. (laughs) But uh, before we get into today's episode, a little bit of sad news that actually came out before the last episode, but I had pre-recorded last episode, and I so I couldn't go in and and update it. Um, On Friday, April 17th, we did lose uh, Benny Atkins uh, due to the COVID-19 virus. Uh, He had complications from that. He'd been battling it for a little bit, and uh, sadly, we did lose him on the 17th. So uh, our, our prayers go out to his family during this time. I did cover the rest of his life story on episode 192, which um, is available everywhere you listen, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link in the show notes so you can learn a little bit more about Mr. Atkins, and uh, you can also learn a little bit more about him over at the Medal of Honor Museum, so mohmuseum.org. There's some good information on there as well. So moving back into today's episode, number 300, Going back once again to World War I, only two more episodes after today's episode for this conflict, and then we will be moving on. So here we go, episode number 300. Emery was born on the 18th of December, 1876, in Columbus, Iowa, and his family later moved to Sigourney, Iowa, where he graduated from high school in 1894. After high school, he attended West Point and graduated 73rd in his class of 74 in 1901. Emery served in Cuba with the 2nd U.S. Cavalry before being promoted to major and being assigned to be an instructor at the School of the Line, now called the Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth. He was a lieutenant colonel when he was deployed to Europe during World War I with the 82nd Division, now the 82nd Airborne Division, and it was his actions as a division machine gun officer that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Having gone forward to reconnoiter new machine gun positions, Lieutenant Colonel Pike offered his assistance in reorganizing advanced infantry units which had become disorganized during a heavy artillery shelling. He succeeded in locating only about 20 men, but with these he advanced and when later joined by several infantry platoons, rendered inestimable service in establishing outposts, encouraging all by his cheeriness in spite of the extreme danger of the situation. When a shell had wounded one of the men in the outpost, Lieutenant Colonel Pike immediately went to his aid and was severely wounded himself when another shell burst in the same place. While waiting to be brought to the rear, Lieutenant Colonel Pike continued in command, still retaining his jovial manner of encouragement, directing the reorganization until the position could be held. The entire operation was carried on under terrific bombardment, and the example of courage and devotion to duty, as set by Lieutenant Colonel Pike, established the highest standard of morale and confidence to all under his charge. The wounds he received were the cause of his death. Emery became the first member of the 82nd Division to receive the Medal of Honor when it was given to his daughter, Martha. Prior to receiving it, Emery's mother received a letter from Major General Wainwright, the Assistant Chief of Staff, who went on to be the highest-ranking prisoner of war during World War II, stating that Emery had been recommended for the medal, and he also wrote, quote, When my time comes, I only hope I can die as gallantly as did your son, end quote. Emery Jennison Pike died from his wounds on the 16th of September, 1918, the day after his actions, at the age of 41. He was first buried in France, but was returned to the States, and was buried in the Woodland Cemetery in Des Moines, Iowa, Gold Star Plot 8. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrose, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. 
If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to Tales of Honor Podcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.